Welcome back to Fox and Friends this morning. Want to wow your guests this Thanksgiving? What about serving white truffle risotto? Hmm, I think that sounds good. We're back with chef and owner of restaurant Equus, Great Scott Catanio. So you just got back from Italy and you decided to bring a little bit of Italy into Thanksgiving this year. That's right. I was fortunate enough to go stay at the Villa d'Este. Villa d'Este last year uh, was named the number one hotel resort in the world by Forbes magazine. But more important, it's yeah, all, see that. well, it's simple <laughs> elegance. I spent some time with the chef, Luciano Paralari. His, his plate that is, uh, he's very uh, known for is his risotto, and they just put out a cookbook for risotto. Risotto, we have different kinds of risotto. Here is the, your regular garden variety risotto. It's called a borio. What I'm using here is carnaroli. It's a long grain risotto. It doesn't stick if cooked properly and there's a big difference in the taste, and you guys will be the judge. So one of the things you want to do, you start with a saucepan, and I'm always surprised because the, the, way, the way you would cook rice is you'd throw it in, I guess, and you'd, you'd want to simmer it in, in water, let it cook down, but in risotto, you're just throwing it right into a saucepan, is that well, right? Well, risotto, it's, it's easy to cook, but people have a lot of difficulties with it, Clayton, because if it's not done right, it's terrible. It's okay, terrible. Okay, so what's the thing that people need to know to do it right? So here's a finished product. In a minute, I'm going to let you guys taste that. You have a pan here. We put a little grapeseed oil. I use grapeseed oil because it's the most neutral oil, very light. So here we have our rice. We put that in the pan. And now we're going to stir that because you want to, when it takes the chicken stock, in this case, you want the rice to be hot so it absorbs it. Okay, so you're heating up the rice before you add any liquid. Right, the rice has to be very hot so it works as a catalyst to accept the liquid, and in this case, chicken stock. So let's assume that that's hot. In the recipe that we have on the website and on greatscottchef.com, we put half of the, the liquid in initially. That's going to reduce down, and then we put half of the next. And does your liquid need to be hot? To has to be hot, in? absolutely. Okay, so Great point. So now we stir that down. Because the first liquid is in, Rick, we add our shallots. Can we let the, the shallots cook here? We're going to take a quick break, and then Rick and I are going to stuff our faces with some of this risotto. Awesome, we do awesome. That? All right, we we're going to do that. We'll be right back here. More Fox and Friends in two minutes. We're going to let this risotto cook down a little bit. We'll be right back. Awesome. All right, the best part of the uh, white truffle risotto is the white truffle. It's we haven't done. added it yet. We're going to add our, our cheese, Rick, because you don't want to do that on the fire. We put the oil, and any flavored oil, you do not want to cook or to lose its flavor. And that's just ground Parmesan. Reggiano Parmesan. So here it's done. We're going to put it on the plate. I like the garnish with a little cheese, but more important, the taste is what it's all about. Why don't you guys try Great it and Scott, then tell thank me? Thank you very much. Get out of here. <laughs> and uh, yeah. we appreciate it. Oh. I've been all right. Yes. Hunt you Ladies down. first. Oh, Allison yeah. definitely needs to try it. Ladies all first. Right. Wait, thank you. And Rick, Scott. remember, we have the beer. That was me. It was all about <laughs> Allison. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I got an idea. Thank you so much, Great Scott. Always great seeing you. It's my pleasure, folks. And check out the website. Also, we want to leave you with one more unretouched photo. This one's great. So good. This one comes from uh, Jana Hagen. This is her son. <laughs> He's almost 23 years old now. She says no to retouching. She I agree. Good for Look her. That. that is a story waiting to happen. Yeah. This would be the farewell. We would say goodbye to pictures like that. We'd never see him again if this goes in. Everyone will retouch everything. Yeah. That's sad. Join us for the okay, after the show win. show. Have Thanks, a Thanksgiving, guys. Boxandfriends.com. Thanks, Chris Scott. This is so good. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Oh, yeah. Great for Thanksgiving. See you next weekend. We're done with the video.